I'm William Huffman, and I work with the West Baffin Cooperative located in Kinnight, uh, Nunavut, and um, we have offices in Toronto and in Kinnight. I travel between the two. I like to say it's one of the biggest commutes in the world. And um, my organization for the last 62 years has been responsible for providing encouragement, supplies, professional development to artists in the region to make the beautiful sculptures, prints, and drawings that we all know and love that have come out of, of Kinnight, formerly known Cape Dorset, um, for those viewers. Uh, and the organization, I've been there for about eight years, and um, we've had some remarkable moments. And, and one of those is this really terrific exhibition, Printed Textiles, from Kinnight Studios. And we were a very, very willing collaborator with the Textile Museum. And, and to give you a little bit of background, I didn't curate the show, contributed very little to the curatorial of the show. Um, however, uh, it was one afternoon, I was doing some, some, I tried to find some banal paperwork in our storage locker. And so I'm up on a ladder, I'm pulling things out, and this in my effort to find the banal paperwork, this thing falls on my head, literally, and what's inside, but this treasure of, of textiles. So in thinking, this is something special. I've got a sense that this has got to, you know, we got to look at this and figure out who should be telling us and advising us on what to do with it. And so that was the next call to the Textile Museum. And 250 of them we had in total um, spread between our offices in Toronto and the archives in the, in the Kinnite offices. And those are now part of the permanent collection of the Textile Museum. And that exhibition is traveling across the country. It's an amazing, amazing genesis. You can find within the within this collection work by some of the most famous you know artists out of Cape Dorset, Kinnite, like uh, Kanoyak Ashavak, who is arguably one of the most important and famous Inuit artists. I would also say one of the most important and famous Canadian artists. Um, she has work well represented prints in that collection. We've got other artists on the other side. Sharni Pudigood is an artist I discovered in the in the time that I've been working with the organization. Um, very little print and very little drawing. However, she was prominent within the textile program. Now, the significance in that is that you've got, you know, these, these are huge artists, you know, the greatest hits kind of thing with Kanoyuak. And then you've got Sharni Pudigut, who was prominent within the program, but because the program was so short, we kind of lost that memory of who she was. So this has been given us, a, this has given us a great opportunity to reinvest in some of those narratives about artists who were lesser known, but but I think equally as talented and prospered within this program. The other thing that's really remarkable for me in looking at, at what we've got is, you know, there's a lot of discourse around, you know, the, the traditional knowledge and, you know, Inuit cultural heritage and how these, these objects are, are very important, whether it's a piece of textile or if it's a sculpture or a print or a drawing. Um, I think I look at it a little bit differently. Yes, that's an important part of this narrative, but I look at it like, Think about this. In the 50s, we had a program where artists were making screen print on fabric in the Arctic. I've always said that the, the you know, what is what is the magic of Kinite Studios and the West Baffin Cooperative? The fact that it's in the Arctic. You know, it could be anywhere else in the world. It's improbable, almost impossible, that it would be able to prosper in the Arctic, and it has. And this program is a really good example of that. And I think instead of looking at this history or through a lens of history, I like to look at it like, once again, another example of how innovative this studio was. You know, if they were, they've made so many really iconic images that have become part of, you know, dollar bills. They've become part of stamps. They've, you know, on on coins and and currency, um, and also recognized as some of the most important images in Canadian art history. Then you look at this this amazing textile program. And I'm thinking, God, yet another layer of that innovation, another layer of that prosperity that the visual arts has brought to the community. So the name of the project is the Printed Textiles from Kinite Studios. It's an exhibition that we developed in partnership with the West Baffin Eskimo Cooperative. Um, it was um, uh, went on display in the fall of 2019. And the exhibition is um, a story about a little known fabric printing initiative that took place in Kinite Studios in the 1950s and 60s during a period of um, social change that disrupted traditional languages and relationships to the land. And there were artists and printmakers in the studios who produced bold graphic um, printed textiles um, with images that spoke to uh, legends, stories, and traditional way of life. And we worked closely with the community on the development of the exhibition I was able to fortunately visit the community and I brought 
um, images of these textiles and shared them with the community and um, told them the research that we had um, done at that point, which to sort of fill out the story of the development of the initiative and the marketing and so on that took place after. And the community was very um, interested. They were uh, members of the community that actually recognized their relatives' work, um, the names of the relatives and families, but uh, many of them didn't realize that um, they had been involved in fabric printing. This took place actually just before the experiments on, on fabric, just before the print program got um, underway in, in Kanite. So it's an uh, untold story and we wanted to tell the story and bring it back to, to Kanite. Um, and so we proceeded with, as I said, research and through the exhibition we traced the evolution, the development of this um, fabric printing in the community. The impact of the project, I think, the huge impact was to try and bring um, more awareness and visibility to these artists and printmakers that were working um, 60 years ago to produce these fabrics. And so having the opportunity to do the exhibition, we also did a catalog and um, the exhibition is touring at the moment. As a person that works in a museum, it was an opportunity to to really sort of understand the transmor transformative role that museums can have in um, the reclamation of indigenous cultural identity and uh, culture. And so um, through doing exhibitions and through collections and programming and so on. So this was a, um, I think, you know, also an impact there. Um, and finally, it's interesting that um, the exhibition represents what would previously have been unattributed work by artists in the print in the program um, that are well known um, all over the world actually for for the prints, um, but n nobody knew that they were actually um, the artists that produced the designs in these textiles. So the whole story was really um, an opportunity to sort of recognize the place and importance of this fabric textile printing initiative in the history of Inuit art um, and, you know, sort of bring the story out and for people to, to learn about it.